Evaluate the limit of x as it approaches 0 for 10 of x over x. So what we have here is something interesting. First of all, tangent of x is equal to sine of x over cos of x. One additional thing that we need to know for this question is that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x is 1. That's a given. We need to know this. Um, and now we do. So tangent of x is just broken down into sine of x over cos of x, then all over x in this case. And basically this is just x over 1, right? So we can actually, since we're dividing this by that, we can actually just multiply it by the reciprocal of x, and it's x over 1. So we can basically rewrite the whole thing here into sine of x over cos of x times 1 over x. And I'm just going to rearrange this slightly and have sine of x over x times 1 over cos. And that's, uh, I can actually split this up into the limb as x approaches 0 for sine of x over x times the limb as it x approaches 0 of 1 over cos. Okay, so this right here, we already know that's equal to 1. And for this expression here, limb as x approaches 0 of 1 over cos of x, that's going to be just equivalent to 1 over cos of 0, because the cos of 0 is 1. So this whole thing here is just 1 also. And so is the answer. And why is cos of 0 equal to 1? Well, we can plug that into the calculator. But I can also quickly show you with the unit circle. Wow, that's, that's a terrible circle. Why that is the case. And remember that because of Sokotoa, the cos of angle theta is equal to x over r. And on the unit circle here, we have this point being 1 comma 0, which represents uh, just going to be 0 degrees. Uh, since cos of theta is x over r, and r is 1 for the unit circle, cos of theta for cos of 0 will be 1 over 1, which is 1. Uh, oops, 1 over 1. <laughs> Hopefully that made sense. The answer is 1. And we have similar questions right here. Thanks.